All right, folks, Pachinko Ace 88, and we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook, we are going to be doing Elite Mode. Now, what is this again? This is when it's gonna take a week for them to release Criminal Case. I am actually gonna go through and I'm gonna go play an old case, play it where it's a little bit diff more difficult, but basically enjoy uh, and reminisce about some of the older cases. So, I've, I've already gone to a couple of them. I've, I've did Corpse in a Garden, I've done some other ones. And I'm thinking this one, I kind of want to go back to like the beginning of Grimsboro. So what we can do is we can play this from the beginning and unlock elite mode, which is what we're going to be doing. Oh, I really hope you just haven't just eaten, Marshall Ace. We've got a new case. And all I can tell you is that Jennifer Carter did not have a happy ending. In fact, her body was found in one of the butcher warehouses near the docks. I can't say I'm thrilled, but let's go, shall we? It's always fun to go all the way back to the beginning and just see some of this just nasty stuff, man. This was not a pleasant death at all. I remember I remember this one. This was nuts. Eh, let's try that. Let's see if we can get one full star. Oh, brother. I remember this. All right, so we got ice cream. There's the dead body. I can't remember what the garbage can is. Uh, gear. Shoe print. There we go. Saucepan. Oh, I forget where all, I forget where half this crap is. Uh, gosh darn it. Oh, there's saucepan. Cutting board and garbage can in the back. Come on, experience. Eh. I mean, I actually wanted this. Oh, that's right. So they double it. So yeah, there's really no way I could have gotten that. It was even worth it, worse than I expected it to be. This poor girl was butchered just like, just like a pig. You're right, Ace. We need to focus on the clues, like that pool of blood you spotted. All right, there's a shoe print in there, and the way the blood goes around it means. Yeah, you're right. The killer must have stood there while Jennifer bled to death. Better send the shoe print for analysis, I agree. We'll have to drop by the lab to get the autopsy results anyways. So you think you should have a look at that garbage can? So be it. But you're the one digging in. And as for Raul Coletti, the owner of this warehouse, he's waiting to be interrogated. But what should we even start with, Ace? Man, they got just boom, 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 boom in the beginning. Knock everything out so quickly. Look at that, man. We don't even have to examine that. It's cool. So basically, in 36 hours, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of stars that we can kind of knock this out real quick. But I'm gonna be waiting 36 hours essentially before I start again. Um, as you can tell, the messages are or the cash is very low for me. So if you guys are gonna enjoy this, it's been Pitching Case 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Case 88, and we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook, Elite Mode. Grab some stars, let's talk to these guys. Let's talk to Raul Coletti. Such a tragedy, Jennifer often came to the shop to buy meat. She was a sweet kid, always smiling. Mr. Coletti, apart from you, who has access to the warehouse? Well, my apprentice, Rafael Souza, has a set of keys, and my daughter, of course. She's the one who discovered the body, you know. I agree, Ace, we need to have a chat with Rafael and Raul's daughter. They had keys to the warehouse, they're definitely suspects. File. I wonder if yellow is going to be a uh, clue. So as you guys will know, actually, when I searched for these things, um, I actually did a purge because I had 5,000 friends on Facebook. A lot, of you, a lot of people were inactive. So in order to sort through all of them, I actually just deleted all friends. And um, zero seconds. Nice. Um, so if you guys want, please add me. I'm accept accepting all friends as of right now because most of you guys I know are from Criminal Case. So, And we have our murder weapon, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe that it was in the trash. Ugh, imagine having someone waving this in front of your nose. Jennifer must have been terrified. Yeah, taunting is just... Ugh. What's up, Trish? I still can't shake that image out of my head. She looked like a pig. I'm sorry you had to see that. Were you friends with Jennifer? Oh no, we didn't hang out together. She was too posh for me. 
And she was a flirt, I could tell you that. I wouldn't be surprised if she got the wrong kind of guy excited. Okay, that was interesting. Maybe the apprentice? Love triangle? I've been Mr. Clay's apprentice for two years. After my mother split on me and left me to rot in that hobo camp. He's the only one who gave me a chance. I see. He told us Jennifer regularly came to the shop. Did you know her well? Uh, we talked. Nothing more. I've been dating Trish for six months. I, I don't pay attention to other girls. So you're working for the father and dating the daughter. Well, that's quite a comfy arrangement you've got there. The Colettis have been very kind to me. Life in Cooperville's tough, you know? I'm glad they're not afraid of me. Alright, Marshal Ace, we will still need to have a look at your possessions, Raphael. Let's head off to Cooperville. The homeless camp. Oh well, well, we've had enough time for this, so the shoe print you found on the crime scene leaves a lot to be desired, you know. But since I'm awesome, I was able to determine that your killer's feet are ten inches long. Holy moly. It's huge. Jones, long time no see. Who's the new recruit? Sam, this is Marshall Ace, my new partner. Ace, this is 1-2 Sam, the de facto mayor of Cooperville. And an old friend. Yeah, but I wish you wouldn't, wouldn't just stop by when things are bad. Anyway, you're here for the boy, not me. Raphael sleeps in that shack over there. See, I've used basically all of the friends. I think right now I have a uh, 102. Alright, let's see what we can find. Alright, so net... Uh, bottle, wrench, slingshot, bowl, car battery, and panties. Uh-oh. Sounds like trouble. Those panties are a bit fancy for the neighborhood, I agree. And look at that J. You're right. We can't be sure it stands for Jennifer, but maybe a closer look at those panties could confirm it. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> eh, not fantastic. Five seconds, so that's pretty good. Perfect. Now that you collect some DNA from the panties you found in Cooperville, we can send it to Grace. Oh, Grace, that's right. I haven't seen Grace in a long time. Ooh, one hour. Sweet. So I'll see you guys in 11 hours and 11 minutes. Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. Let's finish this off. Jennifer was hit over the head with a blunt object, but she was still alive when the killer sliced her open. And what's more, her heart is missing. Are you all right, Jones? You look a little green. No, I'm okay. Continue, please. Jennifer was also tortured. There are numerous burn marks on her breasts. Her killer is obviously a smoker. But they can't be very experienced. They left strands of their hair in Jennifer wounds. Ace, you're looking for someone with black hair. Holy crap. I forgot. In the beginning, man, you learned a lot of crap load from the, from the body. Ooh, we leveled up to 391. Awesome. Great job, Ace. I've compared the DNA you collected from those panties with Jennifer's, and it's definitely hers. But it wasn't just her DNA on those panties. I also found DNA belonging to a certain Raphael Souza. Well, I'll be. Raphael may be dating Trish Coletti, but thanks to you, Ace, we now have proof he also fooled around with our victim. But yeah, good point. Sam might have some seen something, too. It's time to have a proper chat with him. Oh, snap. We got quite a mystery on our hands, Raphael. How did you end up on end up on Jennifer's panties? Did you exchange underwear? No need to be sarcastic, mister. We were friends, nothing more. I don't know how my DNA ended up on those. Surely you must have an idea. Marshall Ace, I'll be keeping close eye on you, Raphael. You can be sure of that. 
I was denying it? Wow, wow. Pretty bold. DNA never lies. Well, I don't think Raphael was seeing Jennifer, no. You're not really suspecting the kid, are you? Raphael's a sweet boy. He never do something like that. Well, that's up to us to determine, Sam. The fact that his DNA was found on Jennifer's panties makes him our number one suspect. There must be another explanation for it, but I'm sure you and Marshall Ace will get to the bottom of things. I don't remember. Well, Ace, this is a grisly case and no mistake. Poor Jennifer was hung up like a piece of meat in a warehouse. There's no way we'll let her kill or get away with it. And at least thanks to you, we've got several leads. We know Rafael Sosa, the butcher's apprentice, was probably having an affair with her. And we know that the killer has got black hair and smokes. Now we just need a new lead to push this forward. But we'll be doing that in Chapter 2. I'll see you guys all in a little bit. This is Mitchie88. Over and out.